What's up guys, Shane here from Fugadec 3D Printing. Today we're going to do a 3D printed rubber band Gatling gun. Ah! Welcome back guys. So here we have all the parts laid out ready to go. I printed this on two different machines. This was printed on the purple, was all printed on the TiVo Tornado. Bigger prints, and I kind of thought, well, that should be like the big main parts. And then all of the accents or like supporting pieces that I deemed and supporting were printed on the Monoprice i3. The little one, uh, I got it for $110 that I got that printer for. It was, it was as low as like 130 it was 110 some days. But I mean, it is a stupid cheap machine and it prints pretty flawlessly. I only had one problem with a few of the parts, and this one was one of them, but it still turned out okay, so I'm gonna keep it. And the problem was, is I only did two top layers for some reason on the one set of items. I don't know why I did that. So I reprinted some of the other ones that needed to have more top layers. They actually have four top layers, kind of like this. This is one of the, the main trigger piece. So I did have to go ahead and do that. But the rest came out pretty good. I was uh, generally happy with how it all turned out, how easy it was to print. Uh, only support was needed was on this piece right here, uh, this is the main handle, and uh, there are just some overhangs here. He tried his best to get it so you didn't need support, but it was kind of inevitable on this part, and there's a little bit of a drooping on this piece here. So I'm gonna snip those little bits off, and a little bit of support uh, dense was left over there. But aside from that little bit of support, again, none else needed anywhere else, so that's really good to see. Now, this is a six barrel. Gatling gun, gum band, Gatling gun, or rubber band, sorry, rubber band Gatling gun for everyone not from where I'm from. It's pretty simple, you print the parts, you need 12 bolts and 12 nuts, a couple zip ties, and rubber bands, which are up in the other room and I'll get those when I get to that point. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and put this together. I, again, this was just something fun I thought it'd be fun to do. So we're gonna do a quick time lapse maybe of me assembling this and we'll go from there. Now, I, I, did, I did have a little bit of issue trying to figure out how exactly it should go together because the directions are not fantastic because there are none. <laughs> it, it just go off the, the pictures on what it is. So hopefully, if you do decide to print this, this helps you out a little bit. Let's get it built. So I take a quick minute to thank the sponsor of this video and it is Rhino Reel. They produce filament not on a spool. A lot of people who print a lot of filament complain that the biggest problem they have with 3D printing is all the leftover spools. Well, if you buy filament that doesn't come on a spool, you eliminate that problem. All you have to do is print out your own uh, reusable spool here. This is the slant spool. It's two pieces twist together with a quarter turn. Very easy to take on these uh, rolls of filament very easily and quickly. Inside the bag, you have your desk pack, you have some extra twisty ties, and you have another label so that whenever you put it onto one of these spools, you just go ahead and slap the sticker on there. You know what it is. There's a job number, batch number, tells you all about the filament, the size, the color, things like that, so that you know exactly what is on here. So be sure to check out the link down in the description to their website. There is not a fillet link, there's no coupon code, no catches here. It is already super cheap, about $13 a roll. So make sure you guys go to the website, give them some love, and check out some of their filament. I have to say, that was quite satisfying to put together. And check it out. It is a freaking Gatling gun. I think it looks pretty cool with the purple and the yellow. I probably could have made these yellow too. That might have looked a little bit better. Kind of like Joker looking, if you think about it. Um, I like the design, like 95% of it. I think it, it's a pretty interesting design. Uh, I do wish that the handle was a little bit uh, nicer to hold instead of being straight. I understand it was printed for the purpose of being no support, but I think rounding it off wouldn't have hurt too much. 
Trigger seems to work pretty well. It's just a, a rubber band that goes down around that. That seems to, to do the job. And uh, the crank here runs nice and smooth both ways. I mean, it's, it's smooth. Look at that. It's really, really smooth. And yeah, I, I think it looks pretty good. So now we're going to go ahead and find some rubber bands that work here. I have some different sizes. I don't know which exactly is going to do the job. I'm not precisely sure how actually to load this. Uh, there was a video on his YouTube channel, which I probably should have looked at. That might have helped a little bit, but I'll figure it out. We're just gonna do a trial of just one on each uh, thing. You're supposed to be able to load six, I think, giving you 36 shots, which is, I think, insanity, but amazing if it will work. Oops, that one broke. These are not the freshest rubber bands. I bought these last year for the other gun band, rubber band gun that I did. Okay, so. There we have six loaded on there. There it is not firing. If I pull the trigger up, that, 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 that just about does it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that uh, little bit of hang up, there's a little bit of movement here. And I understand it for tolerances but I think a spacer in here, maybe some different size spacers, would make this stay more forward. Because the problem is it comes backwards and it, uh, or on these little triggers on each of those need to be a little bit, maybe a little bit longer to allow for that tolerance. Now I do have, I have a lot of rubber bands here. There's a lot here. I have these bigger ones that aren't quite as tight to load. I'm gonna go ahead and try and double load one of these. So yeah, I'm gonna put three on each of these and I will be right back and we'll see if we can get this thing to like fire off. All right, so we've got three on each one of these loaded up and it didn't take too long. It took maybe like seven, eight minutes to, to fully load it up to capacity. And we're gonna shoot at you guys and see how this works out. Now I do have to be careful again because that play, gotta keep the barrel a little bit more on the forward part and there's no real easy way to accomplish that without putting a spacer in or redesigning the part. So we're gonna go with it like this. Ready, set, draw. Ah, it went forward. Too much. All right, so here's two of the yellows. These are a little bit tighter. So we'll see how this goes. bad but uh, again there's definitely some tolerance issues here I think a easy and quick redesign of these little triggers might do the trick that might end up being able to fix the problem so that being said it does need a little bit of fine-tuning but I fully applaud the design I think is is amazing uh, I would love to see a hand grip here just because you don't have three hands and it would just look cool. Uh, and I would like to see some uh, captive nut holes would be a little easier, but I did use Nino's pliers and a screwdriver and went, to, went together pretty easily. I mean, for, for something that you had to print like what, 30 parts for? See, 12, uh, yeah, 30, 35 parts for. Pretty easy build, pretty nice build. It's satisfying to watch this thing spin. That is just too cool. Yeah, I, I wanna say thanks to the designer. I'll put a link down below to his design if you guys wanna go check it out. Uh, if you wanna remix it, or maybe I'll remix it a little bit. Maybe I'll redo these triggers a little bit, try it again, see how it works out. 
and I'll upload my remix and I'll link that down below if I end up doing that. Uh, I don't really have the time to do that right now, but maybe in the near future I will. And I really want to thank Rhino Reel for sending me the filament to do this project. I hope to do a lot more projects. They sent me quite a lot of filament. I think about eight kilograms, seven or eight kilograms of filament. And I went through very little to do this because this was not a very heavy duty print. Uh, it was three perimeters, 20% infill, four top, four bottom on pretty much every piece here. Uh, I would redo the orientation of this one, maybe just because I'm afraid this eventually will break. But it seems to be doing well so far after, you know, about four or five tests here. I have rubber bands everywhere over my desk now because I was shooting at the camera and the monitors. So that's going to be fun to clean up. But yeah, so again, really fun project. I hope you guys go and try this out. This, again, just a fun, something just fun to do. No other reason than to make awesome stuff. And a little bit of tuning, this will be cool. So thank you guys for watching so much. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Talk in the comments down below. I would really like to hear from you guys what you think about this kind of project and what you think about having Rhino Reel help me out with my videos. Now, if you guys want to stay in tune with what's going on and be notified of really cool things like this, you need to become a subscriber. Hit that big button down there, become a subscriber, hit the bell icon, get an email notification or push notification to your phone or mobile device if I upload new content. And one of the first ones to know, you can come check out my awesome things. Yeah, come and check out my awesome things. Now, if you guys want to donate to me financially, help me build things kind of like this, except this one was a sponsored video, but for other videos, you can become a patron. Down below me, Patreon link, donate me a dollar more, get access to my Patreon feed, get access to my after show, and again, you help me buy things for the channel to do projects with. I did have to buy the hardware for this, so that does, patrons do help out with things like that. Otherwise, you can help out one-time donations, affiliate links with coupon codes down below. Check all that out. Check out Rhino Reel. Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, happy branding.